Hi, this is Mike Brandon doing my presentation of uh, Studio One based on our homework assignment. Uh, the first part of the homework was to design a table which contained some countries in the global hunger index across years. So all of these columns are sortable, which is nice, especially if you had a larger data set. But I chose a basic blue and gray color scheme because I thought it wasn't too distracting and it was easy to see everything. The next part was showing good and bad visualizations. Here's an image carousel, which contains the four images that I chose. I personally think that the carousel is a little bit tacky, but if it was implemented better, it might look nice. And here below are the four images um, lined side by side with some text using the, the columns and bootstrap. So I'm not going to touch on all of these in detail to standard the time limit, but the first image I chose was a stacked donut chart showing smartphone uh, sales volume or usage. I'm not quite sure, but it's kind of a poor visualization because it's just not really clear. Uh, you know, you can tell that iPhones are the winner, but it's not really clear by how much. Uh, the next image was something from 538 blog showing the earnings, the expected earnings at age 30 based on your parental income. I think while you're in high school is what they said. So it's, this is a nice visualization because the color scheme's good. The axes are clearly labeled and you can see there's a clear relationship between the uh, parental income percentile and your expected earnings at age 30. The next one was uh, how baby boomers describe themselves. This one was bad at, these don't add up to 100 percent and um it's just showing traits that baby boomers think that they have filled into this uh, supposedly baby boomer stick figure uh the last visualization i thought was nice it's a map of australia which you can you're uh familiar with and you can relate to and it shows where 50 percent of the population lives and these are all cities and suburbs along the coast mostly and a little bit in here so I thought this was nice because it shows just how vast Australia is. And this will be hard to show in a table or, um, you know, kind of another method. I thought it was really nice how it really gets the point across that uh, there are very few areas in Australia that are uh, densely populated. And that's all for this week.